Well, hello, hello, everyone. It's Charlie Tice here, Popping Up Financial Services. I hope that you're having an amazing day. One of the things I want to talk about is professionalism as it pertains to what your business looks like, right? So, um, I have heard of instances and situations where individual business owners were denied credit due to the fact that they were using a Gmail account or an Outlook account or a Yahoo account. If you are in business, you want to make sure that your email address is going to be at it's going to be sales at your business name. So if it's a uh, ABC boutique, it needs to be sales at ABC boutique. If your name is Susan, it's Susan at ABC boutique. The thing is, um, this is going to help you and set you up for success as it pertains to getting the business credit that you need and also to legitimize your business even more. Um, people, who, especially in the, in the, in the banking world, they get a little bit uncomfortable and apprehensive about, um, really, taking, you know, a, an application seriously, um, that's, you know, Jeanette five at, you know, yahoo.hotmail.com, whatever email, you know, people are using gmail.com. You want to make sure if you're taking your business the next level for, for this year is to get an at your business name. If you already have your website, that's great. You can, all you have to do is um, go in and go to uh, Google Workspace. Google Workspace actually allows you to um, do an at your business name. So definitely that's one way. There's other ways to do that. But I just wanted to kind of bring this to your attention for the new year, especially if you were recently denied a business credit card or denied credit. Um, they do deny business applications based off of email addresses or if on your on the comptroller site, if you're showing a home address instead of a office address, they will deny business um, app credit applications, you know, because it's, it's not showing stability. It's not showing a commercial address. It's not sh it's showing a regular Gmail address. And it's and those are the things that banks look out for before they actually, you know, as a, as a precautionary measure to protect their money before lending it out. Okay. So don't get denied on something as simple and silly as an email address. Go ahead. I think it's like $6.99 per month to be able to, you know, have a business email address. It's, it's something that seems so simple and, and crazy, but it has hindered people from getting business funding. That's one of those little un, you know, unspoken, um, un, or, or little known things that, um, that the bankers do in order to that stop people from getting credit. Okay. The, for the, per, the people who know, they know, right? So until next time, stay profitable and stay great and make sure y'all get those business email accounts. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.